Hi, Karen. Thanks. Uh, right now, some big news concerning taxes. Uh, due to fraud concerns, TurboTax is suspending uh, operations for people who want to file their state taxes. Steve Milam, CPA here in Tulsa, joins us uh, live to talk a little bit more about that. This is this is going to affect a lot of people, right, Steve? This is a big deal, Russ. What happened is that Minnesota had received some phone calls from their taxpayers who tried to file their own returns, however, discovered that someone had already filed for them. Right, so a lot of fraud going on. So there is fraud indeed. Uh, TurboTax has done some investigation and have identified that the problem is not internal with their own software, but rather these are, these are people who are simply on the outside, have in some fashion obtained the uh, taxpayer's personal identity information and have filed a fraudulent return for those people in hopes, obviously in hopes to get a refund right. for you know fraudulently. Okay, so so TurboTax is shut down. And again, this is not the federal, it's just the, on the state levels, but all states now you can't file uh, at least temporarily. We don't know what temporary means, do we? It may go throughout this whole um, tax filing season. Well, certainly TurboTax does not want that to happen and they're trying to get it worked on as quickly as, as, as they can. They're hoping in a few days, obviously we have yet to see exactly what temporary means in that regard. So what can people do? Is there a number they can call? Is there, is there more information out there? There isn't. Uh, TurboTax has established an 800 number that right. they can call. Uh, it's dedicated just for this purpose. They're referring to people there as their identity protection specialist. Uh -huh. uh, and there is an 800 number. It's also on TurboTax's website uh, as to how to get a hold of this information. All right, and, uh, and so uh, for your perspective as a CPA, you guys don't use, most of the professionals do not use TurboTax. If people want their, to make sure it's done legitimately, perhaps they should seek help from a professional. A absolutely, Russ. This is, and again, this is only affecting TurboTax, all of the other third-party preparation softwares that taxpayers might buy for themselves are not affected, but this is TurboTax. They're the largest, roughly 60% of the market, uh, for instance, uh, about 28 million people last year filed electronically using TurboTax. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. Yep. So again, uh, if people have questions, there's an 800 number, they can research it, they can find that. Uh, and, then, and then also, uh, another thing they may want to do this year, if they don't already, is have a, a professional. Uh, yes, absolutely. And there's lots of other things going on this tax season, which may want to they may want to do that anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll be checking in with you probably a lot more about that as well. All right, okay. Steve, uh, thank you so much. All right.